Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, today we're going to go into setting up OneNote uh, for uh, really just note taking in general. If you're using a keyboard and you're using handwriting, uh, you're going to want to watch the entire video because there's a lot of very important tips that you um, well, will just make your notes look great as opposed to like um, crap. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, first thing you need to do is you need to go to the View tab. Uh, by the way, this over here is Tablet Pro, the artist pad, and uh, I'll put links to this in the description. First thing you need to do is go to the View tab. And from View, uh, we're going to go to Rule Lines. We're going to choose this one right here, College Rule. And we're also going to toggle on Always Create Pages with Rule Lines. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Settings, top right, Settings, options scroll down and we're going to choose font microsoft yahe size 18. now this uh i went through every single default windows 10 font uh, windows 10 fonts uh, not in the universe but all the ones that come stock with windows when you install it and this is the only one the only one that actually fit inside of these lines right here. So this is going to make it really easy for us to write and type and then come back with um, a cohesive, nice looking OneNote uh, note taking experience that you could print if you wanted to do that for a research paper or something. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put some text in here. And we're going to try and use the speech to text uh, Cortana engine. So we're going to tap on the screen. Actually, let's go ahead and put in our title. Uh, one note. Nope. One note. Setup. Guide. Okay, good enough. We're going to hit enter. And you're going to notice down here that this is going right on the lines, which is really cool. All right. So we're going to talk and just let it translate what we're saying into text. And I'm going to show you a little bit in another video on how to do this and also keep um, adding formatting and changing words. Period, new line, enter. It's actually pretty powerful what you can do with um, Cortana's dictation. Okay, so this looks nice, it's all on the lines. Uh, we're going to scoot it over a little bit because that's my preference. Now let's go ahead and go up here to print and take a peek at this. All right, that looks good to me. If you want this to be a little bit um, more, you just know that you've got a little bit of a boundary on the right side where you could squeeze in a little bit more. You can adjust that bounding box. I keep scaling set to fit the page and um, you could just print this. It doesn't matter whether it's in dark mode or light mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the next aspect uh, which is converting handwriting into text and then getting it to match with this. So we're going to go um, here, we're going to use a bright, uh, we'll switch to draw mode. We're going to use a bright color. All right. Um, oh, actually, if you're doing this, you want to be aware that when you um, print, it will print on a white page. And if you use a light color like yellow, it will be really hard to see. So let's actually use, uh, we'll use purple. And we're going to say um, convert handwriting to text. Pretty standard. We'll select, and we're going to hit the button right here, ink to text. And it did a fantastic job. You notice that it is larger. It is still the same font, but it's larger than the font that we're using right here. So this is 18, and this is 27. Okay, so you could just go up here and convert this right here. I, I think that's okay, but it's a little slow. I like fast things. So we're gonna go here and we're going to press this keyboard shortcut, Control Shift plus C. Um, by the way, I use key press OSD to display these shortcuts. Um, all right, so here, we're just gonna select in this box. We're gonna tap the four dots and then we're going to paste. And the paste is Control Shift V. Convert handwriting to text and it looks perfect. Notice it does not sit in the lines correctly, so we have to adjust that. And now you've got this really nice looking um, document. And when you make more 
uh, write more in here, it's, it's going to blend really well. And this for page setup, this is <laughs> really what you want. You want it to be able to blend and be forward thinking and all of this. Um, all right. The other thing that I want to point out, uh, you guys know that I use the artist pad. Um, whoop, let's switch to draw mode. OK, you guys know I use the artist pad uh, because it makes everything faster. Uh, one thing that I am starting to do is also promote the pen that I use. And there's a very specific reason that I like this one. Uh, you can see it here. It's magnetic. Let me do this again. There we go. Satisfying click. Uh, and that was important. I hate carrying an extra thing in my pocket. So it, sticking on the side of the surface is really important. It supports tilt. It has nice, clean lines. I think actually a little cleaner than the Surface Pen. But the reason you really want it in OneNote is that uh, the eraser button is right on the side. So you're not jumping up here to select a pen and then over here to select the eraser and then back over here to select the pen. Um, actually, that's just really quick. It's on the side. So you have a right click button and the eraser button. So that's something I think is important. Um, these tools make a big difference for me. Uh, if you're setting them up, I will create a setup guide for you, a new one that, um, well, let's, I'll show you real quickly here. I'll take this and I'll put this in a file for you so that you can just look at this and then um, copy this image onto your screen and then you can make this match and, uh, and that'll, that'll make your setup a little bit faster. All right, um, that's it for the setup guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have a tablet or you like taking notes or drawing on your Windows 10 um, device, then this is a really good channel for you. So please subscribe. Um, if you want, you can tell me I sound like Ryan Reynolds in the comment section. Um, <laughs> um, actually, I, I don't hear it, you know? All right, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and until next time, stay creative.